Hey, Overcomer Nation, what's happening? It's your boy, John Erickson. And I wanna give you guys a quick message today. If you're in the service industry, you're a business owner, uh, you're a service contractor, a window cleaner, pressure washer, uh, you're someone in the service business that is a contractor and you're an aspiring entrepreneur, you're somebody that's trying to do big things. Uh, we all want success, we all wanna win, we all wanna do big things, we want great things for our lives. But here's the issue is most of the time we want these things and we want we want to be able to have a roadmap laid in front of us, a blueprint. You know, my name's John Erickson. I'm the owner of Sun Clean and also the creator of Overcomer Academy. It's an academy where I help service business owners like yourself, if you're watching this, uh, take their business and their life to the next level. And I show them by, by getting into large commercial contracts. And it's a way of thinking that the small projects that you're doing right now, those $100 projects, those $200 projects that are in the window cleaning or landscaping, they're small, you know, mowing lawns and stuff like that. And you're trying to scale your business, but you can't seem to get past the, the one guy, two guy operation and you can't scale. And I help you get into large commercial contracts like companies like Marriott's and Hilton's and big companies like this that pay you very substantial amounts of money, you know, $5,000 contracts, $20,000 contracts. But the one thing that I've noticed after helping all of my students and the people that I'm helping is that I can show you the roadmap. I can show you exactly what you need to do, exactly how to do it, right? I can give you the blueprint. We call, we call my program the Commercial Contract Blueprint. And it's an incredible program. I mean, literally, I can give you all the answers exactly who to get in contact with, exactly what to say, exactly how to price the job, exactly how to follow up with them and how to track everything. And it, it's actually fairly simple and most people can do it. But here's the challenge, guys, is that I want you guys to understand is that if you don't get your mind right, you don't get your mindset right, you won't be able to achieve any of this stuff. And I want you to achieve this. I want you to win. I want you to do big things in your service business. The one thing that I can see that most people struggle with is like if you gotta do something on a daily basis consistently, and you gotta show up, we struggle in our minds to do it. Because it's really, business can be very simple. It's like just do the work, just work hard. If I give you the blueprint, I give you the roadmap, then all you have to do is follow it. But if you don't have the discipline, you don't have that discipline to be able to show up every single day and do the same thing over and over and to do that boring work, okay? We're talking about the work that nobody wants to do. That's the problem. My, my friends, I think this is the issue. It's, it's We need to figure out how is it that we can do the same thing over and over the boring stuff that that really matters, like making the phone calls or going to the meetings or sending a proposal, okay? These are the things that matter. And what I see happens to most people is we get frustrated, we get overwhelmed. We start to feel that um, we're not good enough. We have these self-limiting beliefs of, you know, I can't afford to do that project or I don't have the people to do that project or I don't have the equipment to do that project. So, so you're dealing with a few things. You're dealing with the self-limiting beliefs that that project is too big. I can't do it. Uh, what about insurance compliances? What about you know uh, people that are that 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 are gonna ticket me or cite me because I'm using too much water on this large building? Um, I don't have the capabilities. I don't have the experience. Okay, these are all excuses that we're telling ourselves. And I want you to understand that it's not just about. You know the self-limiting beliefs okay like the self-limiting beliefs is one thing holding you back okay it's holding you back because um, you want to be able to do it but you but you can't do the discipline of the same thing over and over every single day and so two things that people are struggling with one they're struggling with overcoming that self-limiting belief that they're capable that they can do it that they are worth it and um, you have the right equipment or you have the right people, okay? Like people get scared that they're taking on a new challenge and it's not, they're not comfortable with it. And so if you can overcome the self-limiting belief of you are capable, you're confident, you can do it, all you gotta do is get through one. And if you can get through that one large commercial contract, then you're gonna have the confidence so you're able to do it over and over again. Now you're also dealing with once you get the project, are you able to do the project? Are you able to actually 
complete the project? Do you have the employees? Do you have the structure? Do you have the people? Do you have all these things? And I'm here to let you know that when I got into large commercial contracts, I didn't have any equipment. I didn't have any people. I didn't have any resources. I didn't have any of this stuff. So what is it once you actually get in and you deal with it and you overcome those self-limiting beliefs of, you know what, I can't get in this project. I don't have the people. I don't have the trucks. I don't have the equipment. Now what is it that you need to do? So now you need to take action every single day to make sure that those projects are coming in. Now this doesn't just go for large commercial contracts, guys. I mean, this goes for, this literally goes for everything. This goes for anything to do with business. Any business you are going to have to deal with this disciplined mindset. And I want you to understand that if you can learn this one skill set, which is the discipline of being able to actually do this on a daily basis, okay? Which is showing up and doing the work, repeating the cycle over and over and over, sometimes doing boring work that you don't even like, till eventually one day you could probably hire people to do some of the boring work that you don't wanna do. But you need to think about it as this is a temporary situation. This is a temporary problem in my business that I am the one that has to do the boring work. I, I'm the owner of the business. I'm the one getting the most payoff. I'm the one that's winning from this whole endeavor. So let me do the boring work. Let me do the stuff that nobody else wants to do. Okay. And I honestly think that this is the one thing, the one thing guys that has helped me build my businesses, any business that I've ever done, it's been entirely because of this one method, this one exact thing that I've done, which is I've shown up every single day and I've done the boring work. The one thing that has built my businesses, has, has gotten it to where it's at, is because I'm able to show up. The ability to be able to create a habit around something that you don't necessarily want to do. Does that make sense? I mean, think about it in your business right now. Like, I'm not perfect. I struggle with this too. But I'm telling you guys that this is what's going to cause you to win. I can share with you my, my content and I can give you the blueprint. I can tell you large commercial contracts is the way to do it. You need to get in contact with these people. You need to say this to these people. Here's my script. This is what I say to them. And you need to show up and do the meeting. And then when you get back, you need to send the proposal. And then when you get so busy that you have so much work going on, you're going to have to hire some people. And then you're going to have to, you know, promote those people and turn them into foremans and let them take over your business. All that stuff is is the easy part, but you need to have the discipline to be able to show up every single day to be able to keep making the phone calls, keep showing up on people's doors, keep sending out flyers, to keep sending the proposals, to, to keep hiring the people. When, when, when you're doing so much work and you've got all this business going on, to hire more people, take that money that you earned, the money that you, the, the sacred money that you worked your fucking face off, right? You busted your ass, you were out there before you had employees, you were doing it on your own. You, you, you were scrubbing the windows by yourself, you were pressure washing, and now all that hard earned money, that money that you made, the thousands of dollars, now you gotta take that money and you gotta push it right back into the business. And so this is why, my friends, that some people go from $50,000 a year to a half a million dollars a year, to a million, to two million. This is the only reason why, my friends, and I want you to understand this. I'm pleading with you to understand this, guys, because I wanna give you value. I wanna give you, I wanna give you content. I'm not one of those guys out there that's just like, oh, do A, B, and C, and D, and you're gonna be rich, you're gonna be wealthy, your life's gonna change. I'm still rich in the making. I am still showing up every day. I'm still in the mix. I'm just like you guys, except maybe I'm a little bit further ahead, but I, I, I know these things to be true because it's what's pushing me forward. You know, year over year, I continue to make more income, to get more assets, to have more income, more employees, more jobs, and I'm telling you the one thing that matters, the one thing is the ability 
at first to overcome your self-limiting beliefs that you are capable, okay? That's number one, that you can do this. It doesn't matter about your finances. It doesn't matter about how many people you have. It doesn't matter about the equipment you have. It matters that you just commit first, you do it now, you figure it out later, and you roll with the punches. But number two, the, the second thing that matters the most, guys, is the discipline. The discipline to be able to show up every single day and then to make money and be disciplined with your money, okay? To overcome these obstacles. You are basically an overcomer. That's why our academy is called Overcomer Academy is because it's not just as black as white. I could have named my program and, you know, my, my, my new business Blue Collar Millionaire or I could have named it, you know, just Commercial Contract Blueprint, which is the name of the product. But no, I called it Overcomer Academy. And why did I do that? Why did I call it Overcomer Academy? Overcomer, you can think to yourself, maybe has nothing to do with getting large commercial contracts or people in the service business that want to get large commercial contracts. Like, why did I name that that? Because I know that what you want is you want large commercial contracts and I want to give that to you. I want you to have large commercial contracts because that's what's changed my life. But the one thing that I know you need, I know what you want, but I know what you need. And what you need is you need to overcome your self-limiting beliefs and you need to create discipline. The discipline to be able to show up every day. The discipline to be able to make the phone calls on a daily basis. The discipline to be able to get big projects, make $10,000 and then not take the $10,000 and spend it on yourself on something stupid like, like this Lamborghini here, okay? Like, I bought this Lamborghini after nine years of working, guys, nine years. And honestly, I'm proud of it, but I almost wish I still would have waited longer because I could have took that money and I could have pushed it right back in my business. But there comes a point in your business and in your life that even myself, being a disciplined person, that you want to take care of yourself. The whole reason why I got into business in the very beginning uh, to start a business back when I was 21 years old, 20 years of age, I always wanted a Lamborghini. That's what motivated me. That's what got me up. That's what got me motivated. But I also never wanted to suffer. I also never wanted to suffer. It wasn't just about the Lamborghini. It was also about proving to my family and my loved ones that I was capable because I was a high school dropout that basically at the age of 16 years old never went back to school. I, I even at 15 years old and I dropped out of high school and everybody said I was never going to be anything. All my teachers, all the staff out there, I used to sag my pants down to my waist and they used to say, you're never going to be anything. And so to me guys, like getting into business was bigger than just, you know, starting a business, I always wanted a Lamborghini. So there comes a point in time that my discipline is only so far. I've been doing this thing for 10 years now, not in my service business, but I've been growing businesses for 10 years. So yes, I finally bought the Lamborghini. You might think it's douchey. You might think it's stupid, but for me, it's a badge. It's a badge of hope. It's a badge of honor. It's a badge of like, you know what? I always wanted this car. It was a goal of mine and I don't give a shit about what anybody else thinks. I don't care if they think it's fucking douchey. I don't care if they think it's this or that because I like cars. I went and watched Ford versus Ferrari the other day. Loved it. It's one of my favorite movies now because I love the engineering behind cars. I love just how beautiful they are, the, the architectural, like all the things that they do with cars. But where I'm getting at is that that $50,000 that you're making now in your business, you have to have the ability to be able to take the money and be disciplined and overcome the thought of wanting to buy some new shoes or a Lamborghini or a car or a house or whatever. You gotta push it right back into the business. And there's gonna be people that are telling you, your family, your friends, your wife, they're gonna be telling you, you know what, John? You, you shouldn't be doing that. You know, like we need to go buy a house this year. You know what? It's Christmas this year. We need to buy a bunch of presents for the family. You know, there's going to be so many distractions that are telling you to not be disciplined, to not take your money and save it and put it back into the business and hire two more new foremans that they can run this division for your business. And then so you can grow, so you can strive, so then you can focus. Not, not, and then, then at the end, you're going to be rewarded with more work, guys. It's like a never ending battle. And that's why the discipline is so important. Because the second I was able to grow my business to the point where I got foremans that are in place and they're running my divisions, 
I just got left with more work. Now I'm just in the office and I'm in charge of sales all day now because I don't have a sales team yet. I'm building my sales team now as we speak and I'm hiring people and I'm interviewing people. But you have to be the one to step up, to fill that position, then to take the money as a disciplined individual, place it over and replace yourself with responsibilities and keep doing it because you might have to keep taking over job after job after job in your business and then filling it in with people after person after person. And man, it's hard, the discipline of having to take that hard blood, earned sweat money and not spend it on what you want right away, but to know that you are sacrificing eating double cheeseburgers right now from McDonald's. You're, you're going and doing $75 jobs at two o'clock in the morning you're being a, a guy that is a maintenance manager type guy because you're starting to become a handyman in your business because you're desperate and you're trying to make money. You're out there doing these small jobs and your customer says, hey, do you fix gutters? Hey, can you patch my roof? And so you're taking on these projects because you're desperate and you need the money. But eventually it won't be that way, guys. You need to zig and zag and adjust. But this message, that message is for another time. I want you to understand that the discipline, the overcoming, the self-limiting beliefs is what matters. And that's why my academy is called Overcomer Academy. And this is not a sales pitch to get you in an Overcomer Academy. This has nothing to do with it. I honestly just want to bring you value right now. I want you to understand something. I want you to understand that if there's one thing that you can learn for yourself right now, in your business, in your life. And guys, I'm giving you this message because I'm telling it to myself, I'm reminding myself, I'm in the game now for nine years. I could easily just get comfortable and complacent and drive my stupid Lamborghini and just enjoy life and try to act like everything's okay. But you know what? A year from now, I don't know if it's a year from now. I don't know if it's six months from now. I don't know if it's two years from now. My business is going to fail and then I'm gonna to have to start all over again. So that never ending discipline muscle of showing up, doing what's necessary, doing the things you don't wanna do in your business is necessary until eventually one day it can get easier, it can get better. You can have systems that are created with your foremans that are handling your field and you got systems around your corporate office where you have a manager that's running your corporate office and he's doing everything in the office and then you got a social media manager and a videographer that's doing these things. I mean, I'm running two different businesses so there's two different tasks and challenges but guys, I hope this message helps you guys. I want you guys to understand that you need to overcome your self limiting beliefs, that you are capable more, you can do more, that you can get resourceful. You don't need a bunch of money right now to build your business. You can do it right now with what you have. And once you overcome that, then you can also create the discipline you need. All you need to do is start waking up every single day at a certain time, doing the same task over and over every single day till eventually it just becomes automatic. It becomes automatic that you don't even think about it. You don't think about making phone calls to new prospects. You don't think about freaking going out and knocking doors or passing out flyers. You don't even think about it. It's just automated. It's what you do. It's about getting out there. Any business is like this. There's no secret weapon or tool or marketing scam that you can do that's just going to bring you in business. Nine out of 10 times, it's going to be you that's bringing in the business and your sales abilities and stacking skills on top of skills. But that's a message for another time as well. I want you to focus on this one thing. Overcome your self-learning beliefs. I know I repeated this a million times, but I want it to sink in. Overcome that, that you can do it. You can do large commercial contracts or you can build your business and scale it bigger than what it is right now. You're capable. Number two, that you can create the discipline that you need to be able to show up every single day and do what's necessary and do the boring work. And you can develop and overcome the discipline of being able to take the money and putting it back into the business, that hard earned sweat equity money that you fucking went out there with your hands and you calloused them and you worked your ass off to what? To take the money, put it back into somebody else make them form in so then you can scale and you can focus on what matters because you're only going to be rewarded with more work, which is you become the salesperson, the marketer, the guy that continues to bring in business into your business. And once you figure that out, you scale to that level and you switch it over to the salespeople and blah, 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 then you're going to become the manager. 
you're going to become the guy that's managing your operation now until you can replace yourself again. And eventually, there might become a top where you become the main CEO and you're not doing anything, but you got to get there. It's not just given. It goes from here to here. You need to do all the steps in between in order to get here. I hope this message finds you well. I hope you enjoyed it. It came from the bottom of my heart, guys. I hope you felt it. Um, I just, it was weighing heavy on my mind. I was just sitting here driving home right now. I pulled over right now to finish this because it, it got real messy earlier on the, on the clip. So sorry about that. If you made it this far, I hope this message resonated with you. Uh, and if you want to tell me your story, uh, shoot me an email. Shoot me an email to john at overcomeracademyje.com. That's john, J O H N, at overcomeracademyje, as in John Erickson.com. I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' replies or shoot me a message here on YouTube. Don't forget to smash the subscribe and like button. Maybe put the little bell notification on. That way you can get notified every time that I put out some new content. Your support is super appreciated. Every time that you watch one of these these videos, it gives me oxygen. It gives me it gives me a reason to keep putting these videos out to deliver it to you. Because I appreciate you guys, and I want to help you because I've been in your shoes and I've been there. Or you're a guy right now that's doing pretty well in your business, but you're trying to go to that next level, and you share the frustrations that I share, and you want that extra discipline the same way I want it on a daily basis. So create discipline, overcome yourself with limiting beliefs, and stay part of Overcomer Nation. Subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Peace out. Enjoy your weekend or enjoy whatever day you're watching this on. Bye, guys.